Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Shayla, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so today's video is gonna be kind of quick, um, just a fast little video. I'm just gonna show you guys how I refresh my curls on a daily basis because yes, it is a daily basis, okay? Having a pixie cut, it gets smashed in the back, like it gets matted and so I can't just go without fixing it the front kind of looks better because it's longer so yeah so we're just gonna fix it and i'm gonna show y'all what i do so the first thing you need of course is a spray bottle with um cool water y'all know it has to be cool water and then the next thing i use is just my good old wetline extreme gel it's a 10 hold right there there we go yeah so this has been like my favorite gel lately it works really well for coarse 3C slash 4A hair, that's what I have, so just for reference. And then just for a little bit of moisture because I haven't put any conditioner in my hair since I washed it, which has been about a week now, I just put some more of my leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture, and it is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil one, just to give my hair a little bit of moisture to hang on to. So I'm gonna go get some paper towels and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing I do is just take my water bottle and make sure my hair is damp doesn't have to be dripping wet, but I'm just gonna make sure it's damp. Damp enough where it can soak up the product. Um, I don't know why lately, the front of my hair has been wanting to come over. Like, I have to move it back so you can see where my part's supposed to be. I don't know, it just all wants to come together now. Maybe that happens when it grows out, but yeah, I'm just damping it. And y'all, my hair is so thick. It looks like I'm using a lot of water, but I'm really not. The girls in the front actually look pretty good. Like, I don't even have to do much to those. All right, so once my hair is damp all over, I'm just gonna take just a little bit of my conditioner, not that much. Probably, I'm putting some in my hair right now. I'll show y'all. So I take about that much, you know and just rub it in my hands and I just like, I start to like pat it in like that and then I'll just rub it. And as you can see, it's just starting to drink it up. Okay, so after I put my conditioner in, sorry, I'm wiping my hands off. Y'all could probably hear that. <laughs> um, after I put my conditioner in, I'm gonna go in with my gel. And since my hair is already styled with gel, I don't need that much. I just take little dollops, like little dime sizes, and just put it in the places that I feel like needs it the most. So like, since this is in the front, I'm gonna give this side some love over here. Like that. Look how look how big it gets when it when it stretches out. I'm gonna do it on this side as well. And if you need to add more water along the way, absolutely do that. And for the back, I like to just take some gel on my hands and just go in like circular motions, like like this. In my mind, that's helping define the curls. I don't know if that actually does anything. But hey, we're just gonna pretend it does something, okay? So that is pretty much it, y'all. That's pretty much how I define my curls and how I refresh them day to day. And if I see any pieces in the front that's like wonky, like this guy right here, that's not a curl at the end. So we're gonna help him out. I usually like to spray them with some water, add some gel to it. And then I just like to wrap, whoa, oh, I lost it. <laughs> then I just like to wrap it around my finger in a circular motion like this. Doesn't have to be all the way up at the root, but you know, close enough. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Then I just like to slowly, oh, my hair does not mind its business. Anyway, I like to just slowly unravel it like that. And then, 
usually helps it a little bit. So yeah, might have to do it again. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time and that's okay. Yep, so I'm just gonna grab it and then just focus on the end this time. Yep, and then we're just gonna unravel it. And that looks a whole lot better, as y'all can see. Yep, so then you just plop them back in with the crowd. And that's pretty much it. I just leave the front, because the front of my hair actually looks pretty good, so. Just make sure it's evened out in the back. Yeah, and I don't really care if my hair isn't crazy defined in the back. Like, you know, who cares? As long as it's refreshed looking, that's all I care about. And the last thing I like to do is just take some bobby pins and place it underneath my hair so that when it falls back over, these longer pieces won't get too annoying. So I just like to do it at an angle. I hold this down and I just kind of like bobby pin it like about right there. And then I let it fall over, let it fall where it's gonna fall, see where it gets, play with it until I feel like the length is good. So I'm gonna pin it one more time. And yeah, y'all, this is the after of my curls being refreshed. So don't forget to like, comment, and click that subscribe button if you want to, if you like me. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.